Billy from Hippie Mama Artisan Soap. I'm making tonight um, a soap with a loofah um, embed in it. I'm using a fragrance oil from Aroma called Surfside. It actually smells more like a men's aftershave than the beach. It's quite a nice fragrance. I've already mixed up my soap batter. I'm just going to add my fragrance oil. And a mix of markers. I've got some iridescent green from Tranquil Scents. Some of that in. Really happy with this colour. They've got some really nice um, markers for sale on their site. And also some aqua, aqua marine mica from my mica obsession, which is an equally beautiful mica. I thought I'd mix the two together. <coughs> I don't want to over blend this. Pretty green blue color there. I'm using um, a slab mold with dividers to do this. And haven't I haven't used um, leafer in soap before, so I've done a fair bit of reading. There's my slab mold. I've got it lined with a barbecue liner, which are brilliant because you can just reuse them. I'm just going to pour this into here. Every last bit out. Get a bang. Put my dividers in. Now, from what I've read about using loofah, um, you can either use them dry or you can pre-soak them. I've pre-soaked them because they were quite firm and I want to make sure that they fit nicely into my moulds. So I gave them a soak, squeezed them out and just been, has set them on a um, paper towel while I mixed up my soap batter. I push them into there. I always think these look really cool. I've been wanting to try them for ages. I got these um, 
Luther slices from Aussie Soap Supplies. When I'm pushed dried in, I suppose. Really good thumb down. It's um thickened up quite quickly. I think the reason you want to keep it um, at a thin trace is so that the um, loofah can absorb a fair amount of the soap better. But this fragrance oil has thickened up a bit. I haven't used a fragrance oil before, of course. But there we go. They look really cool. Very pleased with those. I almost forgot to record the unmolding. I really like this mold. Just um, push them out like that. And they come away nice and smoothly. Nice shiny edges. Push. They've been in this mould for um, a day and a half. Mm. All perfect. I'll keep unmoulding and I'll post a photo at the end.